This is my rice cooker. When I was moving in, I knew I needed a rice cooker, and so we just went to Walmart and got the cheapest one. There are much nicer rice cookers out there, of course. But this one's gotten the job done. You can even cook vegetables, see? You can cook just about anything in a rice cooker. Some are designed to cook uh, different things, though. They have different settings for it, but not mine. It's gotten the job done, though. That buckwheat is really bubbling. In any case, you can cook buckwheat in a rice cooker. It's good to know. I put in a couple tablespoons of butter and uh, two cups of water for every cup of buckwheat. You can cook some good stuff. Some people serve buckwheat uh, in like cream or milk, I think. Uh, some people even serve it with like beef stroganoff. But me, I usually just eat it with butter and salt. By usually, I mean I've never eaten it any other way except for with butter and salt. I mean, I, I kind of would like it with beef stroganoff, but to do that, I'd have to get, I'd have to cook it. I'd have to cook beef stroganoff. And I don't want to cook beef stroganoff. I, I don't like working with meat. I need to overcome that, though. I should probably cook with, like, fish. Though, I, sh I shouldn't cook with beef. I like fish. But fish, fish is one thing I think that doesn't go very well with buckwheat. Unless it's like, you know, soba noodles, but those are noodles, not buckwheat. And now it's done! Good and fluffy. It's really not hard to make, and I'm pretty sure it has a lot of protein in it, so... Yeah. Certainly the Russians have been eating it for a long time. This time I'm cooking rice in my rice cooker. Which, you know, is what it's named for. How old does the steam show up in the video? It shows up pretty well. It sure is coming out of there. The buckwheat actually sort of clogged up that hole a little bit, but not enough to cause any explosions. I love rice. It's the best food in the world. This time I'm trying to cook buckwheat a somewhat more traditional way. You know, in the pot. And, uh... Not only that, I'm cooking it with milk. I'm thinking maybe, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe that's what I've been missing. To make it really taste good is the, is the milk. Ah! Look at that! Milk and butter and salt. It, really, I should probably be cooking oats. But I'm out of oats, so I'm cooking buckwheat instead. This time, I tell you. I mean, you know, my big real problem is that it looks good, but I've never really, really gotten into thinking it was super tasty. So my hope is that this time, I'll finally find the secret to making this kind of, of, of kasha. A guy can dream, right? There it is. The first bite. Might, might still be a bit hot. This time it tastes like there's milk with it. Go figure. I think it is an improvement though. I gotta keep this in mind. Nice and fluffy. Though it is kind of stuck to the bottom. I'll, it's, oh, you know, you soak it. It won't be that hard to wash out. You know, one of the things about buckwheat is that if you're gonna cook it, you should probably buy them um, a. Uh, imported roasted groats rather than the kind of raw groats you normally get or at least that's how um uh, it's customarily eaten overseas is the roasted kind um i suppose it's a tad pricier because you have to import it but you know it keeps longer like if you get raw buckwheat you should probably refrigerate it but roasted stuff keeps well it's important to keep that in mind i mean i've never ever tried doing anything with the raw kind uh because i wanted to try and make it you know as russiany as i could which is still, to say, not all that Russian-y. I don't have any, like, mushrooms or anything to serve with it, but, you know. I'm trying here. And I think that it's something, something good. It's a good, good, uh, well, it's not a grain, actually. It's not a grain. But it is something. 
it's it's plant food. It's food that's made from that, that is a plant, part of a plant. Well, now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Uh, maybe you could try cooking buckwheat sometime. I with this one, I uh, uh, took water and milk, and together it ended up still being uh, just about two cups to the one cup of buckwheat. So it's the same ratio. Just there's some milk this time. Maybe if I tried doing it with just two cups of milk, I mean, that'd be pretty intense. That'd be pretty hardcore. That'd be some hardcore... Um... Dairy. Hardcore dairy. Don't you agree, microwave? And now, the buckwheat soaks. Or the bits of it that are burned to the bottom of the pot. Much like people resting in a bathhouse after having washed off and gotten into the big hot pool of water. Charming. Today I'm just cooking rice in the rice cooker. Just normal rice. Although quite a lot of it, actually. And you need a lot of it to make good fried rice. Leftovers! There we go. Buckwheat with milk is definitely the way to go. I've it, it imparts a slight sweetness to it that I really like. I definitely found the way to eat it. Right now I'm also cooking rice. Yes, that's right. There's rice under all that. What I'm cooking here is a takikomi gohan. I've never actually cooked it before. And it probably will come out very poorly. And if you know what it is, you'll look at this and wonder how in the world this even bears any resemblance to it at all. Yeah, you know, you'll at least be able to see the whole rice mixed up with everything. You know, once it's done, though. Dishes. Dr. Reed, I do not deserve to stand in your glorious presence, but if this ever-so-humble servant may please have your attention for a single moment, it would be an honor I would never forget. Okay? This is all minor, though, so let's keep going. We get our ass kicked and are back on the job after six months of recovery. I check in with my irritating IT guy who makes a fourth wall joke that doesn't even make sense within the context of the game and isn't funny. How about time? What happened? get stuck in an air duct on the way over? That's not good. Also, here we have a clear conflict of interest. My boss is calling me in to work right away because there's a hostage to- All right, it's done cooking. Yep. I just need to, um, stir it up. I mean, I'll try. But, stupid wet paper towels, I swear. Yeah, there we go. She just said to kind of use a sort of chopping motion, so I'll go I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. I mean, it's more or less mixed now. More or less. Now, one of the uh, odd things about this one is that the recipe called for burdock. And as far as I can figure out, you can't get much burdock root where I am, at least that isn't meant for tea. So I did end up getting a bag of it from some, you know, like, grocery store collective. But I'm not quite sure um, whether it's going to be for tea or for eating. So there's a very good chance that it might just literally kill me. Pretty good chance. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. In any case, now you can see all the mixed vegetables. So there we go, folks. There you have it. Let's see just how much I messed this up. Oh, it's hard to do when I'm behind the camera like this. There we go. Um, it's fine. I have this problem where everything I cook comes out tasting like nothing. It's really weird. 
Like, I've cooked things where I've put a ton of spices, so many in it should, seems like it should just be really gross. And it still tastes like nothing. Maybe I'm just cursed. Ah, well, it didn't kill me. Now, you know, if I were fancy, I would be sp I'd sprinkle green onion on top. But I don't have any green onions, so I'm not going to. Now I'm trying to cook something with milk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need to do dishes. And let's see how it is now. There we go. Now it tastes like really tasty sockeye salmon with a bunch of flavorless rice. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll count this as a victory. I'm cooking buckwheat milk. It hasn't boiled yet. Look at it sitting still in there, like an undisturbed babe. But all cooked food must start somewhere, and this is where this one will start. I guess I've made some progress with this rice cooker. Even with a gadget as simple as the cheapest rice cooker they had at Walmart the day I was there, you can still make this kind of progress. And that, you know, that's something, it's not something special, because it's ordinary. It's pretty common to make progress with things. We learn. We're learning, we're learning animals. We're intelligent. At least most of us are. More or less. And now it boils. Look at it go. That's the power of, uh, is it convection? I forget. In any case, that's the power of energy. Oh, I'm getting my physics terms mixed up now. I'll, oh, well, I'm, I'm a guy who uses a rice cooker, not a physicist. See you around.